The prophet says in a chapter that when the Messiah comes, all the sick will be healed. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be opened. Then the lame shall leap like a deer. What will happen to one who was lame during the week of the Messiah? Jump like a deer and the mute tongue exult. What will a mute person do when the Messiah comes? Start the song and the tongue of the mute will sing. The same thing the prophet Malachi says, for you who revere my name, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in his rays. When will all this happen? When Mashiach Zid Kenu comes, why when Moses comes, do we all heal? How will everyone be healed? Midrash Bereshi Rabbah says in the future, everything will be healed. Everything that God created in this world will be healed in the future. How does everyone reproduce? When the Messiah comes, how will it happen? Or Batit. Or like at the event of Mount Sinai. What happened at the event of Mount Sinai? Did it heal everyone? How did this healing happen at the event of Mount Sinai? Where everyone was healed. The Talmud. The Gemara in Tractat Shabbat says, the body from the intestines says, the body from the intestines below says, when Israel arrived at Mount Sinai, it ceased from them. This is Matan. When Natchez misled Chava, he also came to her and entered her and brought her in. This is the truth. The truth is that when the people of Israel reached Mount Sinai, the giving of the commandments ceased for the rest of the world that did not stand before Mount Sinai. The giving did not cease for them. The angry spirit entered us in a sin of justice. And when the scene of the knowledge happened, death came to the world, prohibitions came to the world. From what? From the impurity of man. When they come before the Sinai, what happened with this Natchez strike? What happened? This one got entangled. What happened to all the people of Israel? They were healed. What brought the diseases? The impurity of the serpent from Mount Sinai. Remove the impurity of the serpent. What did it bring? Medicine, everyone will get well. Messiah, if we put them a Messiah, it's identical. In numerology, snake, right? And the cannon will become silent. Our role is to do what? From snake song. When will the Messiah come? What will happen? The wrath of the serpent will cease. The wrath of the serpent will cease and the Messiah will come. What filth will bring you there? Inheritance prohibition, a mute person, a deaf person, all the diseases come from the same ancestral trace. Just like at Mount Sinai, the people of Israel were healed because the poison of the serpent ceased. The same thing will happen with the coming of the Messiah. The snake's venom will cease and as a result, all of Israel will recover and be healed. Not only that everyone will heal and recover, will end in order on Shabbat. There is an abundance of sustenance. The Rambam writes that delicacies will be like ashes. The sages say that wheat will be like the elderly. The wheat will be as tall as a palm tree. Buns will grow on trees. Clothes items will grow on trees. Nothing will be missing. If there is so much abundance, how will people fulfill the mitzvah of Siddhaka when the Messiah come? Also, but how now is it? Go buy Coca-Cola for 10 shekels. Everything is expensive today. It makes no sense. Everything will be free for you. Everything will be abundant. If there is so much abundance and they were not answered, Korea has so much abundance. The Rambam writes that delicacies will be like dust because of the great abundance. How will they fulfill the mitzvahs when the Messiah comes? How will we fulfill the mitzvah of the Dakka? The sight of the light, there is great abundance. How? What do we do for each other? So you say there will be acts of kindness. Charity will not be acts of kindness. The Gemara in Sukkah really. Is there anyone who explains what you're saying? The Gemara in Sukkah really says acts of kindness are greater than charity. Because charity is only done if subparty. Acts of kindness make things better. The rich in the future there will be acts of kindness, helping each other, acts of kindness, but no charity. Or what is faith? Nice, what? From her record, she did not succeed. Beautiful, beautiful. Even when the Messiah comes, you will come to yourself after all. The people of Israel came out of Egypt. The movie, the original, you see the entire original. How many left Egypt? How many? Some say one in five, some say one in fifty, some say one in five hundred, meaning most of the people sold out, stayed in Egypt. Why did they stay in Egypt? Who stayed in Egypt? 
Whoever is in right wing, whoever is in right wing, remains in the plague of darkness. How could they not believe? They saw the plague of blood, the plague of frogs, the plague of gnats. They saw all ten plagues. How could they not believe? Oh my, oh my, Benavon, you'll see that the committee is blocked. We won't be able to proceed. Yehuba. Wait, 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 wait. Now when you bring the plagues, how did they not believe? And in the end, they stayed in Egypt. We get the answer today. During the exodus of the people of Israel from Egypt, the Holy One gave the plague of blood. How did they know it was blood? Throughout all the land of Egypt, there was the plague of blood. In our days, just as He brought you out of the land and showed you wonders, so too will the Blessed Holy One perform wonders like the plague of blood. What did the Blessed Holy One do? Two months ago, Iran fired dozens of missiles, 60 tons of explosives, and what happens? Nothing. Is it a miracle or not? It's a miracle. This will go down in history. In 50 years, when the Messiah comes, people will learn about the history of this time. Our time. The time leading up to the Messiah. So people will ask such a question. Such a miracle. So many rockets. And the people of Israel did not repent. And still did not believe. Passover Eve attack. Ramming attack. Anyone who saw the video, you see them flying three meters. Height up to three meters. And everyone who was there celebrated Seder night at home. The Arab said his name comes out with a gun, tries to shoot, the gun doesn't fire. The officer a few minutes later raises the gun, the gun fires. Miracle or not, it's a miracle. May the name and memory of the president of Iran be erased. Three helicopters, one falls, two arrive, and then another helicopter falls. Mozina Salan, steal, what's up? Most people don't believe. Just like during the exodus from Egypt, most of the people, despite the ten plagues, did not believe. The same thing is happening in our days. The Holy One here is performing miracles, miracles, miracles. And yet, Jews still do not believe. Jews still do not return to repentance. Jews still do not believe the Messiah will come. We are still waiting for the Messiah. But the problem is that no one should be left out. There is a difference between the exodus from Egypt and our present time. In the exodus from Egypt, the Holy One, blessed be He, left behind 80%. But when the Messiah comes, the Holy One, blessed be He, will not leave even one Jew behind. So what do we do? How do we bring everyone back to repentance? What will the Holy One, blessed be He, do? When the Messiah comes, He will start to bestow abundance. But the abundance will depend on faith. Every Jew who believes will receive the abundance. Those who do not believe will not receive the abundance. Who should we give charity to? To those who still have uncertain futures. That they still won't believe in the Holy One. Blessed be He. So much so that the prophet Isaiah says in chapter Samic Vav. And they will bring all your brothers from all the nations as a gift to God. What did I hope? U.S. radio. When the speaker comes, they'll say on the radio, the speaker has arrived in Israel. There is a custom of an Israeli taxi driver who moved to New York. He will hear it on the radio. What will he do? He will continue to travel saying, I am not returning to the land of Israel. I do not want the Messiah. I do not believe in the redemption. Do you deny? The President of the United States will come. Want to bring a gift to talking. What gift will he bring him? The Prophet Isaiah says, And they will bring all your brothers from all the nations as a tribute to the Lord. The President of the United States will come, take those cab drivers over there in the United States who want to stay there, and offer them as a gift to the Messiah. And what will our role be? To teach them their faith. Strengthen them in their faith in the Blessed Holy One. Strengthen them in their faith in the coming of the Messiah. To open their eyes and see the miracles that the Blessed Holy One does for us. Every single day to receive abundance, one needs faith. The basic vessel for abundance is faith. 